The city of Worcester is now one step closer to a ban on single use plastic bags. A city council vote Tuesday night moved the item forward, but the impact it may have on small businesses is concerning for some in the city. Our Cam Jandro is in Worcester tonight with those details. Cam. Anna, while banning plastic bags may be good for the environment, they may also be bad for business. Several local retailers here in the city of Worcester rely on those bags for their customers. Two of them are right here across the street from each other on Temple Street, and they say a future without these plastic bags is not ideal. Gulch Plastics in Worcester sells plastic bags to retailers across the city. A potential ban is worrying for Ona Puya Golsharazin. Plastic bags is one of our strongest suits. We sell all over the country plastic bags, so we are, it's going to hurt us a lot, especially my business here. It's going to hurt me tremendous. Tuesday, city councilors unanimously passed a preliminary vote to ban the single-use bags. Gol Shirazin says most of his sales are to smaller, family-owned businesses. A plastic bag costs right now, let's say, between two to three cents. A reusable bag is about, let's say, 14 to 18 cents. So... The small little mom and pop stores are the ones going to be paying for it. There are some exemptions. Plastic could still be used for items like prescription medicines, meat, and produce. Retailers would also decide whether or not to carry the bags. Across the street from Gulch Plastics is Fairway Beef. Owner George Siegel says the bags are critical for his operation. Bloody meat, uh, juicy chickens like he had his blood on the bottom of the chickens. In a, in a paper bag, it would end up on the ground and work its way through. More than 100 communities in the state have already adopted similar bans. The two businesses on Temple Street say they're anxious about their future. 74 years in business and family-owned business, and we're trying to save it, and this would hurt us tremendous. I want people to get fresh meat home. You guys think you'll be okay? You'll be able to take this hit? Um, not sure future tells it all, I guess. Now, the City Council is expected to take a final vote on this issue in two weeks. If this does pass, it's expected to go into effect in April. In Worcester, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.